what we want to do is follow up more with the linear equations. We've been talking about how to graph these things. My linear equation is y equals slope times x plus the y-intercept. What we're going to start doing is using traditional variables to mean slope and intercept. Slope typically is the m. Why it's not s, I don't know. Y-intercept is usually the b. Slope is my tilt, how many up, how many over. Y-intercept is my starting point on the y-axis. Where does the line intersect the y-axis? What we're going to do is start getting linear equations. Y equals 1 half x plus negative 3. Which number is the y-intercept? Negative 3 is the y-intercept because it's my standalone number. It does not have the x. 1 half is my slope. And what we want to know, what numbers make this equation true? For example, does 2, 3, does this dot show up on my line? I could graph it. I can graph this and figure out, is this ordered pair part of my line? I would start at negative 3, down negative 3. From there, I would go up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2. I could find the ordered pair 2, 3. 2 is in the x direction, 3 is in the y direction, 2 over, 3 up. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's one of my points. Okay, so that means this does not live on my line. Every point on my line is a solution. What we want to be able to do is get out of graphing stuff and be able to start using more algebra. So what I'm going to do is take my equation. Here I have an x number and here I have a y number. So why can't I substitute these in? The answer is I can. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. Instead of putting the number y, I'm going to look over here and say, what was y worth? 3 equals, I still have my slope 1 half times x. What number can I put in for x? Look at the information given. x is 2 plus negative 3. Now, if this is a solution, if it is one of my points that were on my line, then it will make my equation true. So let's check the left. 3 equals, what is order of operations? Multiply and add. Multiply first. 1 half times 2 is 1, plus negative 3. Is this a true statement? Does 3 equal negative 2? The answer is no, it doesn't. So I would put a line through my equal sign. No, this is not a solution. So 2, 3 is not an ordered pair that fits on my line. What if I had a different ordered pair? What about 8 comma 1? 8 over 1 up. Well, I don't have this drawn to scale. It's tough to see. Let's substitute in numbers and see if it works. I need a y value. Which of these is the y value? x always comes first. y always comes second. Does 1 equal 1 half times x is 8 plus negative 3? Are these true? Order of operations, 1 half times 8 is 4. 4 plus negative 3, yes, is going to be equal to 1. Put a box around it. Is 1 equal to 1? The answer is yes. So what does this mean? It means the point 8, 1 is part of my line. 8 over 1 up should be on my line. This is proving if an ordered pair counts as a solution.